Greetings, Keisha and Keisha Prime here with my live reaction, My Hero Academia, Chapter 246. I think the title is called Message. We're on Manga Stream, um, but also uh, One Piece is on break, so no chapter this week. Um, I did The Promised Neverland uh, before this, so go check that out. Also, check out all my other videos, and uh, yeah. All that good stuff. Ooh, nice color cover. I'm a little surprised to see Mario here, you know? But it's always good to see. Yeah, Dizuku, Ochaku, a lot of ooh and ah. <laughs> uh, uh, Kurishima, Insuyu. Alrighty. And I can't read any of it, so I don't know what it says. But, uh, ooh, color double spread. What is that on the side of Izuku's head? That was supposed to just be headphones, because those are the most steampunkish whatever headphones I've ever seen. Also, he has a watch to match. Okay, there's just TV, old style TVs just floating in the void, and everyone's just kind of floating. Ochaku, what did you do? <laughs> um,. Oh, Suyu's got some weird headphones, too. Interesting. Headphones seem to be a thing. Because they're all kind of wearing them. Or have them. Weird. Or almost all of them. And it's mostly girls, surprisingly. Izuku, you, you playboy, you. Um, shine onto the TV screen. Go beyond heroes. Okay. Uh, new anime, da da da. Season 4 of the anime is about to begin. And we got to come, okay. Oh, that's all that was. Okay. Oh, look, it's Yujiko. Yujiko? Is that it? <clears throat> anyway, it's the doctor. Um, your cork really bloomed in that last battle. With this change, you can disintegrate not only what you've touched. But also, everything connected to what you've touched. Ah, uh, Shigaraki after the battle to the death. You are now truly destruction incarnate. Which begs the question, why do you still seek more power? Uh, he's looking pretty rough. Like, his skin is just... <laughs> it's like disintegrating on itself. Um, we doesn't really have to... I mean, it's been kind of a thing, like, ever since, like, with the, the stress, you know, scratching and everything, and his, like, itchy, dry skin, that maybe that was just a weird side effect. Uh, you know, a mental side effect was the scratching, but what if he's actually, like, drying out and destroying his own body? <laughs> As another weird side effect. Uh, because you said you'd give it to me. Why wouldn't I want it? It is true that I do not need to resort to cheap tricks anymore, but President Bald is uh, proof enough that this power... <laughs> President Bald, Okay. Uh, this power is far from invincible. He's still alive and kicking. And just look at my arm. After uh, only one battle, it's this damaged. Oh, okay, so that's from the battle. Never mind. Maybe my theory's wrong. Um... But how many heroes are out there? I'm done underestimating them. Oh. <laughs> I'll use everything at my disposal to turn All Might's remnants into dust. The next conflict will be our last. What? <laughs> I, he said like four months. So, uh, oh boy. This is going to be the longest four months ever. <laughs> but, like, I feel like that wouldn't be the case because he seems to be, like, the big bad for the series. So, uh, it can't be his final conflict because, presumably, because it's called My Hero Academia, we will see at least most, if not all, of the three years that the the school offers and then you you know because we're almost done with the first year 
uh, second year will be starting probably in the next arc or two possibly um, so it'll be interesting to know that the series does go all the way through the three years you know but maybe not I just figured maybe after graduation that you either had a spinoff or something but I don't know but he's making it seem like Endgame way before that uh, putting in everything you have to give your adversary the most grief, eh? I suppose the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Originally, I was carrying out this research for all for one's sake. With each passing generation's court grow and mix together, becoming more complex, more ambiguous, and more powerful. And the hardware isn't evolving fast enough to keep up with the software's rapid... Ah, the, the body can't keep up with the the powers. <laughs> um, keeping up with the software's rapid development. This will ultimately lead to quirks that cannot be controlled. I named this concept the quirk singularity point. Wait, how old is Yujiko? <laughs> you know, like, he makes it seem like he's been working for, um, all for one for like a really long time, and we know that he is really old you know being basically around since like the beginning of the quirk phenomena so like what is uh what's your age old man um but no but uh no one took my research seriously no one except all for one if uh, people's bodies can't adapt to their quirks, they won't be able to keep living. And we're already starting to see the signs in the fourth generation. Of course, to all, uh, all for one who wields many quirks, this was a very serious issue. Uh, this is going to be a long lecture. <laughs> You're like a little kid waiting to open his Christmas presents. You're right. I'm just overflowing with hopes and dreams. Okay, so you're going to experiment on him. For the next four months, you'll be enduring hellish pain. Wait, what is that? But once you overcome it, you'll be able to hold the world in the palm of your hands. Even one for all. Oh. Um... Why does it look like he's a demon butterfly in this? <laughs> because those look like butterfly wings coming out of his back, but they don't look very naturally coming out of his back. So you're going to put him in a cocoon, which might have been what that thing was. Um, but I didn't know what it was. Um, one for all, among all for one's desires. It was the only power that was unable to control or, it was the only power that he was unable to control as planned. Oh, wait. Wait, they're talking about one... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. Given how that transfers, that could be bad. <laughs> um, four months from now. Okay, so, message is pertaining probably the fact that Endeavor is fully grasped the message that Hawks gave him rising to action I don't know how many heroes are among them I don't even walk how much of a message did you put in there Hawks I can't even walk around as I please nor have I learned the specifics ugh, of uh, Shigaraki and his uh, backers are trying to do I the smallest feathers can only pick up sounds from a short range. Okay, so this is... Some of this may not actually be in the book, but it's hard to say. Also, we found out last chapter that his feathers can pick up on vibrations, which is interesting. Not a power I would have ever expected him to have. Um... Then again, who also expected him to be able to remotely control shot-off feathers? <laughs> you know? So... Uh, mm, 
But if we wait until I figure everything out, it'll be too late. Until then, we'll send signals. If we were to surround this place right away, no injury beyond this point. Okay, so Hawks can't get in there. I'm just trying to get to the dining hall. I think of the fa- No, think of the fastest method possible. We need to, uh, to a certain their, uh, their exact numbers in the hiding places of their members throughout the country, and also reveal all the heroes uh, cooperating with them. Otherwise, the insurgents we haven't located will be able to escape, and there will be more civilian casualties. And that, in case of failure, what about the books you've been handing out to the heroes. Oh God, no! <laughs> it, this face, either he's is like good work, my boy. You've done well, or I know what you're hiding. Not only have you read it thoroughly, but you have a firm grasp of the or the essence of Destro. Also, he's walking again. Does he have prosthetic legs or something? I assume so. You're a sympathizer of our cause, I can tell. And he's just shaking his hand. And twice is now over there. And he's like, I don't, I don't like this guy. <laughs> Honestly, I still don't understand that book at all. Tutor me sometime, would you? It's not that complicated. Oh, there's a really up there in the talk bubble line. Um, with a great advertiser like you on our side, our doctrine will spread like wildfire. We're essentially, uh, or we're especially pleased that you're drawing in as many young people in their teens and twenties for their, or from their supporter base. Your supporter base. Preparation. Numbers. The numbers. Oh, God. We'll have to fight giants. Um, demon giants. Um, you called me out here just to tell me that? Yes, if the students gain more uh, experience in direct conversation. Mm, excuse me. Direct confrontation with villains. I believe they would be beneficial to you as well. Train your interns well, Endeavor. That's that... <coughs> that's that same woman that's working alongside with Hawks. From whatever group that is. I assume it's some kind of government-affiliated group of some sort. The PSC, which is... Public Safety Committee, I believe, or something like that. Uh, and Hawks have already gotten a rough grasp of the enemy. And they're making moves behind the scenes. So that preparation, you mentioned, is these interns. Honestly, I was skeptical of it as well. <laughs> uh, in case of failure, everything will be, uh, foist? Shouldn't that be hoisted? <laughs> uh, On to the students? Ridiculous, I thought. Well, since Endeavor only requested Shoto, you two will probably be uh, working together with uh, We Sidekicks. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> but hey, you know, she's cool enough. It'd be awesome to see more of her. What was her name? Uh, crap, well, it was a very generic name. It was like, Burned? Burner? Something like that. Excuse me, I came here so I'd be able to watch the number one work up close. And then, of course, Bakugo and his explosive personality. Um, you'll be able to. Just calm down, Kachan. No, I understand. I'm sure he wouldn't, or he wasn't expecting to work only with sidekicks. I'll try talking to him. Aww. Todoroki's that bro. <laughs> um... And Endeavor's coming out of his office. The interns are, th are their insurance. Shoto. I find that hard to swallow, but... Deku. Bakugo. First things first. I'll be watching over you three. Oh, so he finally accepted them. Um, looks like he hasn't gotten much stronger. Uh, Dobby, you're doing us a huge favor by underestimating them. Uh, clearly stealing the glory from 
them back there was the right move. I'm trying to remember that exact scene. It's very small and sketchy. Um, even if I hadn't shown up. Okay, that that glove on Izuku is very bulky looking. Like the things like that big around. <laughs> Um, even if I hadn't shown up, those boys would have been more than fast enough. I was never really interested in cultivating the next generation, but your uh, devotion changed my way of thinking. I'm glad we were, the, or you were the one who came here. Mm, excuse me. Mm. They are strong. Oh, we're seeing all the different interns. Awesome. Or internships, I should say. Um, there's a uh, Tokuyami with, I'm guessing, sidekicks of hawks, and their strength grows by the day. Or no, wait, did he not take him on? I forget. There's so many little details to try and keep up with. Um, does Ochaku have what I think she has? Or is that just a new helmet? I think she's got something that's propelling her. It, because her helmet, like it, it looks like just two things that are just stuck on the sides of her head. But there's like these extensions coming off the back and they kind of look like, like jet engines. And that was something I did in her power-up video of giving her a jetpack so that when she floats, she could fly and be very effectively flying because she'd be weightless so her momentum would carry her a great distance and it would like lessen how much fuel she would actually be using at any given time but uh maybe she's not but I don't I don't know what else that could be it's just very stylized also who's that in, over there on the far side there um <clears throat> or I mean, they're with uh, Ryukyu, and she's in her dragon form, again. Um, so, hmm. Uh, oh, look, it's that same guy that <laughs> Ida teamed up with during the last thing. Um, Gang Orcas, who Jiro teamed up with? That Orojiro? No, I always get them mixed up. Ojiro is the tail guy. Um, wait. Um, too many people to try and remember. Um, the arms guy. Uh, he's there with her as well. Interesting. Also, who's this Sonic looking fuck? <laughs> Sonic meets uh, Cuphead back there. Aw. I like the... Uh, Oh god. So he, he's still back there. So many names. I can't remember them all. But it's the guy who eats. Whatever he eats he becomes. He was like. The, he's the top three. He's back there like with his head up against the building. While you've got uh, Kurishima. Fat Gum. And uh, Tetsu Tetsu there. They're growing even faster than me. And uh. Okay, well that's an interesting combo. Um, you have Mineta, you have Ciro, and you have uh, Kamaniri um, teaming up with uh, Kamui Woods and Mount Lady and uh, Edgeshot. Weird. Wait, we're even getting uh, more of uh, B class as well. How many other B classes have I been missing? That might be who that is. I don't know. Um, but you got the washer hero, and you've got manga there. You got um, uh, Koda. And oh lord, I swear every time you see Momo, her boobs have gotten bigger, and I don't like that because <laughs> come on, Horikoshi, what what are you trying to say with this? Um, and she's with a. Uh, Tokage, interesting. And uh, Ashido with Aoyama? <laughs> okay, not seeing 
either of those groups of who they're teamed up with hero-wise. Things won't be going according to you villains' plans. Okay, so we basically have all the beastly-looking heroes, too. Who's that guy? He's got, like, teeth coming out of his chest. But there's, like, this really tall guy who might be the hero. I don't know. But there's Ojiro. And then there's the guy who has, like, the double impact. And then you've got, um... Too many characters. I'm sorry. Um, you can follow me, obviously. And there's the the beast dude from Class B. Um... Monoma <laughs> and Pony. <laughs> okay, that's weird. More. <laughs> oh Lord. All oh, might. But interesting team ups, I have to say. I'm not even gonna try because most of these are Class B students, and oh, even some from other schools. Oh, okay. Um. By the time the cherry blossoms fall, everyone will be smiling again, thanks to them. Okay, I think this is the the clearest shot, or one of the clearest shots, of Juzo's mouth not being obstructed. And I have to say, it, his mouth looks a little lower but that could just be the way your teeth are if you didn't have lips and skin. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh... Oh. Is that, uh... Is that... All for one? <laughs> uh oh Eerie's horns starting to get a little sparkle on it. <clears throat> and of course our our main our monster trio under Endeavor are suiting up. Until the appointed time, refine your skills. Okay, there is a lot going on in these pants. Oh, there's Mario. I like that we're seeing like from all the different schools. We're not just seeing from class at 1A and B. So that that's nice. But uh but this uh, thing with Eerie, that uh, that uh, kind of worrisome. But uh, that was the end of the chapter. So uh, I don't know what to make of what is going to happen when Eerie's uh, power starts really kicking back in. It's a good thing that Eraser Head is always nearby, but watch that'll be the one time he's not you know and then she'll be out of control again unless maybe maybe he should start like a kind of like limited lessons you know like oh well her power's starting to go out of control cancel and then you know or erase you know kind of deal so to kind of give her you know some training so that she can control it because she'll be very useful if she can control it and then she's not a danger to everybody but uh I, I still think that um, the best person to teach her would be, um, or the best person to help with teaching her would be Ectoplasm, because his clones probably would not be too, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? It wouldn't be like a horrible thing if they died, because they're clones, and, um, so I, I would assume he could use the clones on them or make some clones she trained and all that but yeah but so that's probably indicating that she will play some kind of a role in this arc which I do like um but uh yeah oh god let's hope the the uh Paranormal front doesn't steal her and tries to use her powers to put um, Shigaraki in a uh, like prime condition kind of deal. That that would be scary. But uh, yeah, so message received. The the future heroes, the interns at the moment, 
will be the ones who are the insurance policy. So I, I like that. And with them, you know, fighting on the front lines kind of deal, it'll give them the experience they need. So when four months rolls around and <laughs> Shigaraki is who knows how powerful he'll be, uh, maybe they can they can do something. Um, but yeah, that's about all I got from the chapter. Um, anything I might miss, misunderstood, let me know down below. Um, anyway, I try to stream on Twitch three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, upload them to YouTube the next day in that cycle. Um, also, I'm going to try and get back into doing the manga podcast with Griever. Go check out his channel. Um, maybe this weekend or something. I'm not sure. Um, then, uh, yeah. But uh, check out all my other videos, uh, links to all my stuff down below, and uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, keep your likes. Roll out! <laughs>